for today. Uh, Rachel made a lovely batch of it. It's fantastic. Um, but we kind of did some things. We were putzing with the settings a lot this morning for those coming in. Um, you know, if you want to beat me over the head for lighting up your phone this morning with notifications, I will let you do that. Um, we had been putzing and putzing and putzing trying to get the absolute smoothest stream that we can on these. Um, I was so hell-bent on getting 1080 60 frames that I think I made my stuff look worse. So now we're going to try to dedicate um, to a nice um, 30 FPS 720 if possible. Um, we're not a big time streamer so I don't necessarily feel like I've had to tone down my qualities at all. Um, I will say though that I will be um, over on the YouTube channel deleting our Twitch playthroughs of things like Borderlands and instead adopting them um, and re-going through on my own time and uploading uh, cleaner and nicer looking playthrough guides. Um, again, I just haven't been super happy with the quality of these, so hopefully we can get them fixed and solved before Borderlands 3 comes out. Um, the hype train is real. The hype train is ready. My mind um, had a lot of feels this morning. We actually just sat down uh, before a stream, watched the full hour long, or about an hour long, um, gameplay reveal that they had to sort of be able to make some of our own judgments. I wouldn't say there was much I was unhappy with. Um, there was some stuff that we didn't really care too much about. If I care too much about, I mean, I guess I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but there was just some things we weren't, um, didn't feel like it was necessarily, a, I guess, a dire need to add into the game. Um, and while it's cool that they are adding some of the more gimmicky stuff because... Uh, you know, Borderlands is known for over-the-top ridiculousness at the same time. Um, I see nothing wrong with kind of keeping it simple. Uh -oh. and as I just remember on last stream, we were crying like a baby because then I quote, we sold all of our corrosive weapons. Um, just because we found the guns to be utterly annoying. So we don't really have good ways to tackle um, all the enemy types currently. Uh, this is just our absolute first playthrough of this. Um, we just kind of remembered a while ago, like, hey, we love Borderlands, we should go through this. So right now, this is just the normal Vault Hunter mode for the time being. Um, I know when I had people, I asked them on Facebook and Twitter if they wanted me to go through the uh, true Vault Hunter mode. A lot of them really didn't seem to care. Um, so I'm not really sure. I would like to do them just because I don't remember ever beating these games other than the basic playthrough or the normal playthroughs. Um, so I would be definitely interested to do them. So how is your day going? As I said before, we, we just got done watching the, the reveal video, the gameplay reveal for Borderlands 3. And uh, there's some stuff we're happy about, some stuff we felt water, I don't know, just kind of whatever. Um, you know, I'm always glad to see them add stuff to games we like, but I felt some of it might not be necessary. I don't know. Still excited for it either way. Definitely buying it the day it comes out. Definitely streaming it a whole bunch. Uh, as soon as it does drop, we are anxiously looking forward to it. And I can't lie, a little bit of me is, is really tired of, um... 
playing online multiplayer games, we got so hard into things like Call of Duty and stuff like that. And after a while, it just it grinds you. It wears you down. We had to step away. So it's been nice to be able to play, uh, I guess, single player games again, if you will. Thanks for accepting my job. Hyperion robbed my Uncle Teddy and sent him to die on this armpit of a planet. I need you to search his cabin in the arid nexus for something I can use to avenge his death. You'll need to access my uncle's secret lab. Find some evidence that Hyperion stole his weapon design. John is my witness. The Faha clan is getting what's owed. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get up here. Or not, I guess. I guess I didn't want to get up anyway. Oh. Uh, nope. Damn. Um, but yeah, we're, we're super looking forward to Borderlands 3. Um, at this point, our body is ready. Um, it has been good to go back to Borderlands 1. Um, we also have a single player playthrough over on YouTube going on as well right now. Um, and those are actually re being recorded in, in 1080, 60 frames, so those look... I, I feel like a lot better than our streams. Not to say I'm not happy with our streams, but... Anytime you can have things that look that much fancier, doesn't hurt. Okay, this actually feels pretty good. Um, you know, as I said, there's just a few things um, that I had kind of seen in the reveal trailer. Not the reveal trailer, but the, the gameplay trailer that they had. Um, that I wasn't really sure of. Like, I know that the knocking of the barrels towards the enemies seemed cool. But I'm not really sure uh, in execution how relevant that will necessarily be. Um, the skill trees look way more in-depth, which I love. Uh, you know, anytime you can have uh, better in-depth on your characters, I think is fantastic. Give people more, more options for their layouts. Um, you know, that's always a good time. Uh, I think the new guns look great. I think the graphics, though I think some people might disagree, I think the graphics were uh, greatly improved, in my opinion. I think that they added... Um, the lighting looks great, the textures on the guns look great. Um, so I'm super thrilled for that. I'm glad to see you're kind of going all over the place too. I think that that's a, a fantastic addition as well. Um, I didn't see anything that made me sad. Roland, Sid, if you're receiving this, respond as soon as you can. Blake came back again today and showed me some faked pictures of New Haven. The city was burning. A lot of people were dead. Blake said his boss burned the place to the ground when everyone living there wouldn't move out. Of course, I know those pictures had to be faked because you and the rest of your pals were holed up in New Haven and you would have stopped those troops from taking the town, right? Okay, any candidates today, Angel? What do we got? There are four treasure hunters who arrived on a shuttle several hours ago. They are currently on a bus to Firestone. Great. Say this to him. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. The bus is still oh, yeah, moving, that's a, sir. That's a real big boy. What's going on here? John, why have you dispatched one of our satellites to Pandora? What are you doing? Is he never really playing um, in the ultimate Vault Hunter mode? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny those claims. But I will assume that, you know, you are, you are telling the truth and it can be an issue. Um, I guess it's neat. I just, for me, it was just kind of like a, you know, it's not necessarily, um, necessarily pointless, but, um, for me, it was just kind of like, you know, your guns are probably going to be stronger. Granted, it's not one of those additions that I'm like, oh, it's so unnecessary, it ruins it for me. And I don't think that does that at all. Um, you know, I think the sliding, uh, in theory, I love it. Uh, it did kind of have a more like a, I don't want to say like a Call of Duty feel, but almost like a Call of Duty feel to me, but I do think it's great to be able to slide into, uh, out of cover and stuff like that. I think that that's, um, another good little change, for sure. Um, I'm not gonna say, you know, Borderlands is perfect, but I feel like if you just take Borderlands 2, 
and you just make it a little tighter. You know, I think that clearly you got a winner on your hands. Um, Borderlands has never done me dirty. I guess outside of uh, killing Jack, just because he he was probably like my favorite character. Uh oh, wow! I really wish I had better weapons now. Um, wait, what? Hey, it's Bonehead. That's kind of cool. We had better weapons. It seems like every time I complain, I wish we had better weapons. It seems like right after that, we get a whole bunch of good ones, so I guess I can't complain too bad. Um, but no, I know when, when Borderlands 3 comes out, we are going to be playing um, a ton of it because I, I do love the Borderlands franchise. Um, it has, I guess, to a point, a personal attachment to. I mean, that's one of the games that my buddy and I, we spent an entire summer. Uh, Pretty much just living in each other's houses. Say hello to your new home, darling. You're like a <laughs> it, it feels like he's gonna be rough. Is your throat? I want mommy. Where's mommy? She's not coming back, Angel. Now get in a freaking chair. I don't want to. It's all good. There we go. In the chair. Maybe if we if we believe we'll be able to do it. I didn't. Like, see, like, I know I went through these games a ton, and I mean, like, a ton, a ton. Um, but as time's gone on and I'm going through them more, it seems like I forgot so much about these games that they, they feel fresh to me. And I know for some people, yeah, it might sound kind of stupid, because if you love something so much, well, why'd you forget about it? Well, <laughs> my brain's never been all that great. My memory skills have always been lacking. So being able to go through them again, have the game feel super fresh, is fantastic. Um, I'm, we got, come on. He can't be that hard, can he? Ah, okay. Wait, what? Oh boy. See, we accidentally made some mistakes on our last stream, and we ended up selling off the class mod that we had that we absolutely wanted. Um, by mistake, it had some health regen on there, which I think is, is good for us. It'll help a little bit. Um, we accidentally made some other mistakes. We sold some of the guns that we really wanted. Um, But I'm, I'm trying to withhold me watching a lot of the Borderlands 3 stuff because I really want to kind of go into it um, like completely surprised on everything. So I'm trying to stay away from like the specifics on the skill trees and stuff like that. Um, Precision. This is going to take a while. Oh, come on, controller. Okay, there we go. See, what I act, what I did was I sold it, and I didn't realize I sold it until I had left the area. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute. And then when I went back, I was like, yeah, it's already gone. Um, so, that, I mean, that was all my fault. It's not like, you know, um, I don't feel too bad about it. But we definitely made some poor life choices by getting rid of it because, like I said, the health regen for us has been really big. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would be to actually play, like, the melee build. Um, but I, I feel the whole game I've played so far, like, he feels super vulnerable. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily one of the hardest ways to play, but it's definitely been pretty hard for us. Um, 
Not that we're necessarily great at it, but I mean, it's uh, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Crazy. Okay. <gasps> Hopefully we got this. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna get him this time. We just gotta kinda stay away. Take our cheap shots. Keep throwing our nades when we can. Um I'm assuming he can't be affected by slag. I'm probably wrong on that, but... Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, I think we got him. Just gotta make sure to play it safe here. good nah. and I know because I'm, I'm trying as hard as possible to commit to like the heavy melee damage for our, our badass rank we're trying to only use points in shield stuff if possible and of course melee damage um, just to try to play as hardcore to melee as possible like right there I feel like you know if we weren't using our guns we weren't getting anywhere um, so sometimes you got to make those trade-offs, but I will say going hardcore melee with zero almost kind of feels a little bit like I did when I was playing my brick playthrough for Borderlands One, where it kind of takes a while for you to really feel like you're you're doing stuff. Um, of course, once you get there, um, everything feels fantastic, but it's not just like. You know, level 10, you're feeling strong. It just feels like it takes. It's got that longer build-up period. Um, I don't think we care about that. Let's re put this on, I guess. Okay, now, um, is it because he's armored? Or is it just because he just can't be affected? And also, I was shocked after playing through one, I forgot that this was the opening part of one. I was like, this looks really familiar. Because it is really familiar. Um, you know, I just... Wait, really? We gotta leave the area, huh? Well, I can't do that. There's more stuff to do here. Huh, okay. Also something I was unaware of. See, it's been... Like I said, I know I know I've gone through these games. I just... I don't... I still remembered one like the back of my hand. But when it came to two... Everything... Just sort of blank. I love TK. Well, my 
last did. Uh. <laughs> That's sad. This ties into that, into Borderlands One really well. Oh. Scar blinded me and ate my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a blind, crippled widower, but that don't mean all's lost. Met some folks looking for the vault. I did the see you later joke a couple times, but they just didn't get it. Oh, I did find that old message I got from Hyperion a few years back. Hid it in the corner for safe keep. Oh, Rackspit. Bandits. Well, I'm sure this will turn out all right. <laughs> Sadly, we probably know that won't turn out all right. Mr. Baha, we at Hyperion adore your wave rifle design so much that we have decided to appropriate it for ourselves. Our assassins are en route to your home on Isolus. Between us, Mr. Baha, I would suggest leaving the solar system before they arrive. Great. That was just what I was hoping to hear. Now, if you can find the blueprints for the weapon design they ripped off, I'll give you the first gun my uncle ever gave me. I'm just gonna keep hanging on to those grenades because I. Those were good ones. The fastballs were doing some damage for us. I guess let's put the pistol on instead. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Huh. <clears throat> Maybe we did. We are bigger than this game, we should be able to figure this out. It seems like the last couple of missions we did, we got we got stuck at really weird points and it's just like Should I really be getting stuck at this? Ah Hello, mercenary. Should you return those sensitive documents to the Hyperion Corporation, we can offer more than what Mr. Baja's niece can pay. A fine Hyperion armament, for example. Don't listen to those corporate thieves. We both know my uncle deserves justice. And I'll throw in the first no. gun Uncle Teddy ever made for me. Is this still in this area? I'm assuming that one wants us to leave, so we're gonna see where the other marker takes us first. Cause I know I'd rather turn him into the to Uno. Uno for sure. a lady finger true love is a lady first well hopefully it does something interesting seeing how little damage it does 
I don't know how I feel about it yet. But we'll try using it out and see what it does. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm actually gonna finish these up first here. Okay. So when it comes to a lot of the the text on the guns, um, even when we played this the first go through, we never really dug into or tried to pay attention to what they did. We just knew that it has text that has to be good. Um, but I also remember getting burned. I, I did not like TK's way very much. Um, I know it did some good damage. I think when it did crits, if I remember right too. But uh, I just. It's almost like it's it's too interesting of a gun, as weird as that sounds. It says there's guys here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's a big bit of difference in damage. Okay. Wow, that's a big difference in damage. Yes, please. Target in sight. I vanish. Oh. Well, at least we got one. thing over here so we'll go pick those up again normally we try to hold off the the main story missions um, just to grind as much as possible wait what it's above us Interesting. Okay, so it's above us. There's got to be something to turn on then. I also forgot how much, like, gameplay there is to these games, too. Uh, after going through number one, Vault Hunter, I was like, okay, so, Hunter. you know. Uh, number two will probably be more of the same. I think I've already gone through two Borderlands 1 playthroughs. Uh, and I'm still not done with this yet. I think I put the same amount of time to get to where I am so far. Like, you get... You get a lot of content with these games. A lot of replayability. Uh, if there's anyone out there watching who hasn't played these games yet, I highly recommend you do. Uh, 
even if you don't necessarily love first person shooter games, I know for a lot of people they are very polarizing and they just don't enjoy them. Try to look at this game more as a looter shooter, and I think that uh, this game will offer you a ton of stuff. Where's that pistol at? That's not the pistol. Well, whatever, we're up. Where's that surveyor at? Ah. I already kind of missed my, my snap aiming with keyboard and mouse, but I guess you don't really need it in this game. Um, you're not trying to go for the 360 no-scope headshot, so I suppose it's alright. Now then, where's this next piece at? Yes, I am on controller right now. Um, like I said, I've had issues with it before where we're doing streams and all of a sudden it'll either cut out or um, it'll cause real bad lag when I'm playing. And it's only when I have the controller in. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be giving us any headaches right now. Which is good. Clearly. Target death imminent. Oh, oh no. Well. Oh. New, new station, here I come. It's okay. You know, the good thing in this game is you don't necessarily live and die by your currency, so it's okay to lose some here and there, but that was definitely a feels bad. Um, you know, the game's got to get you somehow. staff to the angels malfunctions we need to shut her down your wife suggested as much before her disappear jimmy please make a note i'm strangling mr morin for bringing up my wife i'm covered in slash to no no jimmy choking is something you do when you eat too fast oh Mr. Warren's windpipe with my watch so. chain. The more vehicle for us, I guess. To strike. Please. 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 My my, this pistol feels really good. Those headshot crits are crazy. I guess the regular damage isn't terribly bad on it either. Fire the most. Fool. There you go. Good job, SMG. <laughs> so, is there a character in Borderlands 3 you're most looking forward to? I think for me it was. What was it? Flak or whatever? The one that summons out the. Uh, looked like a spider ant and a skag and something else. Uh, being a big fan of my pets. I feel like Beastmaster is sort of right up my alley. Yeah. Black. Not gonna say he has the most upside, but I definitely feel like out of the new characters, definitely the one I'm most excited for. Wow. Okay, game. Uh, 
Are we getting up here? Maybe not. What is next? A grenade. Man. At least the one I think I'm the least excited for is probably the siren just because I don't know I never felt like for me I had that need to play siren I don't know why I don't think they're bad characters or anything I just and I don't think the sirens are necessarily for me um, there it is that's right and another feels bad moment. That's fine. I guess it's not the end of the world that we're down. Again. So quickly. See, for the Borderlands 1 first playthrough I did, uh, we held a vote. And the Siren won. Which I guess was good, because that was probably the first time we'd ever gone through with Siren. Um, but for some reason, their characters just never really appealed to me. Um, I loved Lila's phase walk, and um, I can't think of the one from number two, even though I'm playing it. Um, her action skill to lock people in place, of course that's fantastic. Um, see, I know... Um, for the pre-sequel, I picked Claptrap just because it was kind of like, yes, thank you, Maya. Because Claptrap to me was kind of like the troll pick. Um, and then for number one myself, yeah, I, I went Brick initially. Um, also went through with Mordecai. Big fan of Mordecai. Even though a lot of people think the blood, the Bloodwing skill is kind of lame, they're like, eh, it's just kind of whatever. I really liked it. Why isn't this working? I don't... I've pumped every freaking ounce of iridium I've got into you, but this stupid key isn't working. Why? I I'm sorry, I don't know. You're a siren. You're one of a kind. You'll make it work. I want that freaking warrior, Angel. I want him awake, okay? I want him under my control. Now, I, I want him now. Not later, now! Though I do think, um, Maya in the upcoming game looks really really cool um i think design wise um with the like the jedi robe and stuff i think that that looks really sweet i don't know if that would necessarily make me want to play her have she been a chosable a choosable character but i do think that it just looks really cool um but i'm still a brick guy at heart and i finally got to the playthrough on this game where you the whole you got me at, instead of punching my buddy lost his mind when he heard that. We, we used to say that to each other all the time, uncontrollably. Every question's answer was, you lost me yet instead of punching. Uh, I'm sure people got sick and tired of us for a while there. Don't even feel bad. All right, maybe a little bit, a little bit. Not much though. No, well, I want that gun back. There we go. Let's not be dumb this time. If we keep an eye on what we sell, hopefully we can't make any more mistakes. Hopefully. Try not to die. Okay. So follow the clues. This mission we got stuck on just because... I don't know what the clues are. Clearly we hit one of the goals, which I find weird just because I don't remember necessarily trying for it um but we hit one of the goals though I don't know what the goals are that I'm looking for and I think that's why we got lost it's because we really weren't paying attention in that initial cutscene or the where you can read or whatever or listen to what you were supposed to do um, clearly it's going to lead to a bad time. Does this do anything? Well, I don't feel like that's following any clues. 
So I'm assuming you'll find an echo device that'll probably tell you, or hopefully tell you, where the next chunk is. Because like I said, somehow we found one, I guess? Because we have the last one checked off? Um, but I can say last stream um, that we did the Borderlands on, we weren't hyper-focused just because my buddy was talking to me about some, uh, not really some personal stuff. But we were kind of getting on, on a deeper level. He was kind of um, asking me some questions about some, some personal stuff. And we had no problems answering them. Um, and I really wasn't as focused as I normally would be playing this. So it led to some... Uh, some blank moments, I guess we'll say. damage come on turn so I can see your leg please please yes. there we go Ghosting. they don't give you any sort of hints besides under the S okay So I feel like then I've probably already bombed out of the gate, because I'm assuming this looks like an acid soak wear away. And I was gonna look it up and try to like figure it out the easy way, but I, I, I just I'm like this game shouldn't be. I don't feel like I should be lost. I mean the Borderlands games are pretty good at telling you, hey, this is where you need to go, hey, um, you know, so. It feels kind of weird that I feel like I'm just completely and utterly lost. It's so hard now. Uh oh, I'm not getting up, am I? Oh! This gun is definitely the, the destroyer of those things. So then I've missed one that should be painfully obvious. Or at least I feel like I have. <sighs> Why game? Okay. Well, I mean at least I know I'm, what I'm sort of looking for now. It's better than... I mean the first time we jumped into this I had no clue what I was doing. So at least being able to... Um, different interactables that's not gonna say should be easy but 
Uh, hopefully shouldn't be too much of a struggle to find. Get your health and shields right here. Next time you're bleeding to death, just think, Dr. Zed. <gasps> okay, so then I have to assume there's one somewhere right around here somewhere. Just because if it says follow the clues, I'd have to assume if we missed the first one already, it's got to be like right here somewhere. I would assume. I'm probably wrong. Ah, okay. Just seeing that there's no box checked is freaking me out. My armor. And then we got a warehouse on the shore. Uh oh. Uh oh. Today and we're not getting up. Or are we? Ouch. Ah. Oh, this gun is so great. I'm sorry, I thought you were gonna be bad gun. been here to at least help me in the right direction because it's definitely a feels bad when you're trying to figure something out and you just feel like you're hopeless it's not a good feeling when you're streaming it's almost embarrassing a little bit clearly it's not the end of the world but Message me when I'm streaming, you know better. I did find it interesting though that I was someone was telling me in a past stream that Zero's melee kind of levels with you. So even if you don't always have the best gun, sometimes your melee is just stronger or can feel a little better. Um, I feel like I potentially missed something. Hi, Seth. I'll have to look at the video later. Um, Kind of interesting. was correct. Clearly not. Um. We're not going that way at all. <clears throat> so 
So how is your day going, Seth? Oh, it's probably in there, ain't it? Probably a good move. Grenades work your magic. Hmm. Nice. That's why I like to go to my classes. Uh oh. About to fall down. Yeah. Well, at least our grenades are doing something. I enjoy that. Oddly better in every way. Interesting. Uh, as I put in the Discord earlier today, um, and as I was saying earlier on stream, there were some things that I find either kind of unnecessary. Um, I did feel like some of the bosses maybe moved a little slow, or some of the, the villains, the bad guys. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones they were. Their movement looked a little uh, slower to me, but it is also a demo. I mean, they got a ton of time to really... Um, there we go. Uh, hack stuff out, so I mean... I know I'm hyped for it. Uh, again, I'm going to try to stay away from it, though, just so I can kind of go into the game. Um, kind of as blindly as possible. Um, just so there's not like that, oh, we've seen this part, oh, we've seen this part. I want to go in with just, like, completely as blind as possible. Um, I do know that Randy Pitchford was getting lynched a little bit. Um, in the Digger's Shadow. You know, I just... I don't like to necessarily ruin everything for myself before I've had a chance to do it myself. Uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's gonna be like that thing where it, it will be hard to stay away from absolutely everything. Uh, but I think at the same time, you know, the less I know, the more excited I'll be. Um... I might dig into the character skill trees. Again, I really think I want to go in just as blind as possible. Um, that way, I think by doing that, I'll potentially have like no expectations for anything. Um, everything could potentially feel fresh. Under the digger. How's the digger? You know, I might cave and look at some skill trees. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at how much tighter the graphics looked. Um, you know, having the game retain its Borderlands feel is perfectly fine with me. I think Borderlands... Um, I don't think this is where I want to be though. You know, like I said with Borderlands 2 because my buddy and I, well, so what happened was I got one, I went crazy into it because he did not like first person shooters at all. He didn't even want to play it. And then when he saw that there was loot in the game, he was like, Alright coach, put me in. And that's sort of what started our, our love for Borderlands. Um, but... I want to try to keep as much unknown as possible. Like I said, that's why I'm kind of trying to stay away even from the, the skill trees. Like... 
you know, it's not necessarily going to make anything that much better, I mean. Um, but I also want to go into it with a realistic mindset that, like, you know, uh, I loved, I love number two. At least that I've gone through so far, because like I said, I don't remember much of two. Um, I loved one. I love, love, love one. Even with all of one's problems, like kind of the lack of story that it really had. Um, and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's not as over the top as, as two. And I know for some people that was great. Um, I'm not saying two was bad. But I have more of a personal attachment with one. So if they can if they can capture all that stuff, you know, a little bit of two, a little bit of one, roll it up into one beautiful package for me. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, You know, I know that there's issues right now uh, over the whole no microtransactions and there's cosmetics in the game and I know some people are not too thrilled about that. Um, you know, right now, from what we know from microtransactions, it does look to just be skins. So I'm going to not get too upset about that right now. I mean, for me, that's really no big deal. Um, I know for some people though, because he his choice of words was a no microtransaction, um, that the rage mobs gathered a little bit. Um, you know, as as it being a business and how much money microtransactions can make them. You know, I don't fault them for putting them in the game. I really hope it does just say skins. And heads and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm okay with DLC. Clearly, that doesn't bother me. But I think there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. So hopefully they tackle it uh, properly. And clearly everyone's perception of properly will obviously be different. Um, and that's fine. But I, I think, you know, adding skins that people can buy that's fine, that's whatever. Um, that doesn't really bother me. You know. Okay, so clearly we messed up somewhere. Because, I think, yeah, that was the last one that, that we pulled. So I have to figure out what this digger is. Well, right now there's skins. Um, I know some people have worried because on the pre-order bonus deal, it does make a mention of a experience buffing item or something along those lines. And they have said, you know, hey, don't worry. Um, if you don't pre-order the game, there will be other means to get it. So I'm assuming that means, um, you know, you'll be able to like purchase that. But as we use Fiend, especially in games like these, you know, um, it's not really a pay to win game, so I'm kind of curious to know what you'd be paying to win on. Um, I mean, yes, I know you can PvP. I don't know anyone who really PvPs in these games. Um, but that's just me. See? And I agree with that. As long as nothing is locked behind a paywall, that's fine. Um, like I said, I, from my end of it is, I, I don't have a problem with games having stuff like that. Um, any extra money they can make, you know what? Fine. I, if, if it supports the company more and people want to go crazy on loot boxes, like, that's cool. But it's when you start, like, you, you said real, um, locking stuff behind paywalls that it becomes really frustrating. Um, you know, because I know, I know they've said something about gold skins, or gold gun skins that you can buy. Um, or something along those lines somewhere that I saw. 
you know, if, if, if you want to buy to have your guns gold, like, that's clearly on you. Yeah. You know, in this game, it's not about necessarily... Well, to me, it's not about boosting your experience. Maybe to others it will be, but I always found that relic uh, very useless. Um, that you're going to find something much better. Something much more useful, hopefully. So, it runs out of usefulness very quickly. Okay, so I feel like... I don't think that's a digger, but I'm going to look. See, like, right now I feel dumb just because, uh, you know... I have, I have no idea exactly where I'm going. You know, and if, if people want to waste money, because in my opinion it's a waste of money, huh? I, I guess I have to rephrase that because everyone's opinion is different. But if you want to spend the money to get, you know, EXP buffs for a little while, do more power to you. You know, that's fine. I have no problem just rolling through the game. Um, I guess naturally. That's the proper way to word that. Um, and, you know, as, as I said on my Discord today, too, discussing with other people about it, yeah, maybe we're a little bit of a Borderlands fanboy, but I have no problem calling out if something is wrong. You know, I mean, look at... And as I had to remind people in the Discord, look at all the skins that were for purchase in Borderlands 2, right? No one ever made us think about that. But now it's a problem. Is that just because the way the industry has changed, it scared people into a paranoia? Or is it actual cause for concern at this point when, when Borderlands 2 came out, it wasn't? Like, see, it's, it's kind of like the fine line I think we're teetering at this point. And, and I do mean it exactly that way. I do think it's a fine line at this point um, between uncontrollable rage and stuff like that. You just set off my Speed running through the campaign. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I've never I've never personally tried to speedrun myself. I have seen some people do it and it's, it's so crazy how quickly people can do stuff in this game. Like I never really looked at this as a speedrunning game and then watching people do it it was like man if I still had my whole brain left, oh my, we would be all over that. Um I'm just worried about, give me a coherent story, give me four characters that feel different, you know, maybe, maybe some downloadable characters down the road, that's really all I want, I mean, I, I know that's so simplistic, but, um, I feel like simplistic, oh hey now. Aww. Today on, we're not getting up. Yep, I knew we weren't getting up there. Um, you know, I, I do know, or do plan, that there will be skins that are only obtainable with real world money. Again, I know, unpopular opinion. It's not really a problem for me. Um, you know, if you if you want to support the game you love and buy skins, I don't see a problem with that. Um, but, you know, again, I do think there is some things that can and do warrant anger uh, from your customer base. Um, on certain stuff. And like I said, I do know as of late with how angry a lot of the gaming industry has made people and a lot of the decisions that have been made that have just really pissed people off, like a lot of the stuff that Epic's doing. I think at this point, Mad Rage is just always warranted. Or like, kind of how rough Anthem was. I mean, like, they've, they're pretty much kind of already saying that they're putting the game down. That's... That's horrible, you know? I gotta buy that back. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? <sighs> okay, there. No more No more having that issue. That's gotta stop. I 
I don't care about those. I know I don't. Two words, my friend. But I think the whole gaming community right now no is just sort of on pins and needles over every decision just because of how bad a lot of the decision making has been and how many unpopular things have been done with gaming as a whole. Um, so it's kind of fair. I mean, I understand the scaredness. Okay. I really like the one I had. The uh, I think it was a code one or one of the shift codes that they just gave us. The, uh, the one where you kind of look like an old school warden where you got your hat and your big mustache and that. I was a fan of that one. Um, I know the hat I have on now I honestly don't like, but I figured I might as well use it just because I like to keep uh, switching my head up. I, I don't know. You can't see it, but I know it's there type thing, as dumb as that is. Um, I don't know. I can't help that. Alright. Let's try this again. Underneath the digger. I still want to know how I found that last one before finding the other ones and the game won't help me out. Sadness resolves. Uh, there's got to be something here that looks like a the digger. That's not a digger. Absolutely. And see, the other th the sad thing with that is, is I'm I'm even like stone sober right now, which makes it even worse. But worse in a good way. I mean, at least here we're getting some okay experience, so I don't feel I guess too bad grinding right now. Um. Well, any day I'm stone sober, I always think. Is a bad day. Oh, you could shoot the hands off that. Like, ah, oh, I didn't know that until now. Okay, come on, poke your head up. Not on me, though, bro. No. Okay, well, this one's right in front of us here, so we can tackle this one. We gotta get it this time, please. Oh, this pistol is so spicy. My, 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 my. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what tackle me now? Yeehaw! I, I imagine any time you're sober, you think, Ah! No, there's only some days where it's like you really need it. But, yeah, I just, I enjoy the complexities of it, you know? I know, um, as weird as this might sound to some people, um, we haven't had beer for a while now and I haven't had beer in the house for a while but I'm sort of exploring whiskeys right now and trying those not like over the top trying them but you know get a new brand have a glass here or there nothing too over the top just to make sure that um, I'm getting a, a crazy amount of use of my palate it's got to be up there or something like this. it's a trap no no game ah no please <laughs> no please no Um, well, a little bit, um, and I guess if I really had to be hard up for something, I am just a couple steps away from a liquor store, but, you know, um, I don't see the point to not have alcohol in my house, because it's not a problem for me. If it was a problem, I'd probably look at it a lot differently. Um, but we make sure the bills are squared away and we make sure that, you know, everything else, wow, that does a lot of damage, that everything else is properly taken care of first. Alright game, you and I are going to have a discussion, where's the digger at? Well, that looks like a squeezer. That doesn't look like a digger. Hmm.
Ooh, that's a badass one. Oh wait, we have that pistol that we keep. I don't care if it's weaker, let's just see if it works. Oh yeah, that's... That'll help a lot of it. Yeehaw, and a level. You know, something I don't remember about this game, at least I thought I didn't, was how much I disliked SMGs. But I feel like in this playthrough, I got a ton of SMGs that I just absolutely adore, so I'm not really sure if it's just I'm crazy, or if I'm actually getting useful uh, SMGs. Okay. If I had a thing called the digger, what would it look like? I don't feel like this should be that hard, and I don't- I just- we cannot find it. Does it maybe say in the mission? Let's see here. No. Hmm. There was an update today, but I honestly don't know what it updated. Uh, I think it's just because it's Friday and the set's now legal, I think they just changed some of the events around a little bit. Uh, maybe added a specialty format. Um, it updated this morning and after that I haven't touched it since. Um, I didn't even look at the update. So... Well, maybe they're just getting ready for uh, anticipation. Got so much health. Why? Um. Yeah, actually. Uh. Right now, my my streams are sort of split down the middle. Uh, 50% um, arena, and then 50% Borderlands for the time being. Um, I was doing some Hearthstone, but uh, right now, you know. It wasn't in the cards financially for us to get cards from the newest set. Um, so I just sort of put it down for the time being. Not to say I won't go back to streaming it, but... I uh, also used to just play paper. Um, but I don't really have a lot of stores uh, in the area where I moved to right now, and um, gas can get very expensive right now, so it's hard for me to commit driving um, long, long drives to go participate in something like an F&M. Um,
Actually, be before we became a, a bad streamer, um, we had our own uh, hobby store for a while, and, and we we sold MTG and and played a lot of uh, played a lot of Magic in our day. Uh, not so much now, mostly just arena stuff. Um, especially with how expensive paper is getting now too. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm okay with cards having value. That'll never grind my gears. Um, but I do think it comes to a point where it's just like, okay, well this card's well over a hundred bucks. Good thing I only need four of them. Well, that's that's so rough. You know, or, or for people like me, who mostly played Legacy, you know, I could never see myself buying Legacy cards now. I mean... Three, four hundred bucks for a single dual land? That's bananas. Like, I understand. Um, you know, it's its getting harder and harder to play Paper Magic uh, as time goes on, uh, money wise. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, I absolutely could do whatever I want to do for a while. Um, but I think when I got big into Legacy, uh, when I got my first few decks, none of that was because the store, because the store really didn't have the stuff I was looking for. Um, and then as time went on, yeah. But that mostly, too, was because of EDH players. EDH players love their Legacy staple stuff just because it does play well in uh, EDH. So... Um, that definitely helped, though, for sure. Okay. What am I missing here? We're gonna turn this, but I don't think that's it. A lot of people did follow, yes. Uh, and at least I could say that a lot of the people who played them... Um... Look for a small house hut. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk again at some point. We'll start here and work our way back because I don't fully know what I'm looking for. Okay. I mean, I feel like because these have sort of been in a line, kind of. that I, sh I feel like I should be near it now actually MI is something a little different but I feel like I should be near because I would assume they're not necessarily in a line but I mean you can get them um, in an order hmm Ah, that's got to be it. Access the top floor of the faculty, huh? Okay. Now, because we didn't do them in order, I'm not sure if that's going to affect... I guess that thing looks like a digger. Hey, this thing's lit up now. 
really game. Really game. Wow. Of course I would get punished like that. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Let's turn that off. Put this back on. So, Ryo Shimura, you said you you play Paper Magic. What kind of formats do you play? Standard, Modern, Legacy. Just play for fun. Let's try this again, and hopefully this time we do not get dunked on. <laughs> See, that's something um, when I had my store that I missed is pretty much staying awake um, all weekend for the pre-releases because that was to me that's when everyone's having the most amount of fun no one's no one's well I wouldn't say nobody but hopefully people aren't there playing for pride they're just there to open up packs uh, hang out with friends have fun um, you know and I, I remember uh, playing a good chunk of commander it kind of broke down to the point where it wasn't really for fun anymore but um, I had my fun with it for sure well I guess whatever our grenades killed that works too And it looked like that turtle shield was better, but I don't like the fact that they reduce your, your health so much. I always found that to sort of be a, a hindrance. <laughs> the true world revealed. Weakness is now known to be. Time to go to work. I know that I definitely miss um, just shuffling up cards. It's, I don't know. Playing online, I mean, I guess it's given me my fix. But I miss, you know, having fun with my buddies. Like, hey, let's let's go somewhere. Let's meet somewhere. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have the same feel um, online, which kind of sucks. Cards really is a good chunk about having that social aspect. I don't care what game you play. I mean, I, I didn't. I did my time with Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, I played Pokemon for a while. Uh, Magic was so, so, so sort of that consistent game that was always there. Um, but just the friends you meet from it, the traveling you can do from it, that's, that's really where the fun stuff comes from. It's not so much just, I'm winning. You know, winning is fun, but it's the everything else that goes into it that makes it more fun. The brewing, the making weird decks, stuff like that, that's... That's the good stuff. At least I would hope that's the good stuff. I know everyone's idea of fun is clearly different, so... That's whatever, but...
Yes. Oh. All those... I had so many long brew sessions. Just... Like I said, that's, that's the fun stuff. Dodge this. Okay, well it seems a little better than the one we have. See what we have for for poop stuff. Oh no, that's see for me the brewing isn't necessarily it has to turn into something. I like I like to be able to just you know look here's something bad like uh, we made five color minotaurs. I don't think I ever won a game with it uh, for for commander, but um, I definitely had the most fun with it just because you're you're playing minotaurs. There's no real rhyme or reason. Um, Worked for me. Okay, so now that we've done that, do we have any BA points? Woo! Um, shield capacity, shield recharge rate, maximum health, shield recharge rate. I guess we'll go fire rate. Uh, now I know these were. I want to say DLC missions, so I'm not going to touch those. Um, I'll do this one, turn that in, and then go do the next story mission that we have lined up. Man, I wish I would have put my fan on. I am so hot right now. I am melting. It is much too hot in this house right now. All oh, perfect. <laughs> Sadly now, um, you know, I wouldn't say cards is kind of behind us. Um, hey, you have an awesome day too. Um, maybe I'll try to pop into yours when I'm done. Come say hey or something, hang out for a little while. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for talking with me and keeping me occupied. Um, I enjoyed it. I hope you did. Uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, do all this stuff here. Oh, these are just this and this. Okay. Nothing too special. I gotta see how this fires. What's so special about it? Hmm. It looks like a real awkward firing thing, but alright. Probably gonna go on a quick little intermission. Uh, I gotta put my, I gotta turn my fan on. I'm, I'm melting here. It's very humid here today. I'm, I'm, I'm melting. I'm not used to this humidity anymore. Um, so we'll turn this in. Just take like a quick break, a walk around, stretch real quick.
Okay, so what's what just sells for the most? Before, I sure as hell do now. There we go. High quality, uh, and no questions asked. Nah, I feel like we gotta hang on to that rocket launcher just because it means something to us now. Um, I guess we'll put this thing on just to see what it does. It seems kind of weird. I guess weird in a good way. Um, so we're going to quickly go on a little intermission here. Shouldn't be gone too long. Just got to go walk around, turn my fan on. And we'll be right back.
monster, you think I enslaved Angel, but you didn't see what she did to her mother. I had to restrain Angel's power. You get that? I had to. And I'm sure he had to exploit her for profit and power, too. Don't listen, huh. Vault Hunter. He killed Angel long before you pulled the plug. Don't you dare speak about my daughter. <laughs> Lilith has quite a little mouth on her, doesn't she? And as it turns out, when that Iridium is pumping through her body, I can stab her over and over and over, and it just heals right back up. I'm told it's agonizing. Oh, she looks pissed. Come in, Lil. Just hold on. to remind you that there is only one thing worse than respawning, and that is huh. not respawning. <sighs>
Great job, amigo. Now that you're in, there ought to be an info terminal nearby. Find it. Jackson, all the Iridium he's mine straight to the Hero's Pass. That must be where the warrior's buried. Get back to Sanctuary. It's time to get ready for the final assault. appreciate your offer to move into Sanctuary, but I got a lot of stuff here in Firestone. Uh, sanctuary sounds nice and all, but Firestone's my home. I made my decision. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in the city I was born. Firestone. Attention, citizen of Firestone. Die. Oh, piss. Uh, on second thought, Rowan, uh, when's the soonest you can come pick me up? Who needs 
a medical license when you got style. Come on back anytime. Oh. Guns, guns! Your cash ain't worth a thing if you don't spend it. This ends now! Jack, Lilith, and the warrior are in Hero's Pass, so that's where we're headed. This is the final fight, amigo. If you gotta prepare, do it now. Go check around the city. These people don't have much, but they still want to help you. Hyperion's locked the entrance to Hero's Pass. Get back to Claptrap. I need him to open the way for you. Brick and I will meet you once you're in. Win or lose, we're gonna finish this together. For Bloodwing! For Rollins! For Pandora! Though I generally have trouble verbalizing my thoughts into words that will not utterly confuse or nauseate you, I find my mental processes are now surprisingly focused. I have only two words for you. Perhaps the most important two words ever spoken on Pandora. Kill Jack! Here. This may help you in your efforts to put a hilariously large hole in Jack's face. It's the Vault Hunter. You. Now you, you make sure to come back alive, okay? If you can, come back with Jack's head on a pike. Haha, <laughs> you hear? What Scooter said? I would have hollow that some bitch's gourd and eaten nachos out of it. Oh, nearly forgot. Ellie and I got something for you. Hope it helps. Overburdened by money. Remember, we're always open. Good 
fine, friend. If you shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed. Almost dead? I can fix that. Come on back anytime. I ain't the best with words, but I just want you to know I'm rooting for you out there. Jack kicked me out of my home back in Firestone. It's about time he got what's coming to him. Here, thought you could use this. Get your health and shields right here. Stay alive out there. This just in. Hot off the echo. Huh. What you buy? Just buy something. Where are you, Scrabber? Jack calls us bandits. I don't feel like bandits. I've had just about enough of that handsome jackass sugar. Get rid of him, and you'll never pay for another drink again. Here, I got something for you. Well, my old friend, I wish you the best. May you return from your quest with handsome blood on your hands and a smile on your face. Oh, and lest I forget, here you are. Thought it could be of some use. Maybe Jack won't kill us all. Jack's monopoly on weapons is running me out of business. But that's not why I want him dead. I want him dead because he's a greedy, murdering son of a bitch who needs to die screaming. Good luck. Here, you might need this. When you think Stop, sucker! It's Tina. I wrote you a poem that goes a little something like this. Break it down! <clears throat> Kill Jack. Kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack! Kill Jack. A poem by Tiny Tina. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. Come on back in. Huh! <clears throat> Roland is such a nice lad. A bummer. <laughs> you feel that? The electricity in the air when you're just aching to murder someone? Haven't felt that. Such a long time. You do what you have to to stop him from waking that warrior, even if it means taking me out. Better dead than a damsel. Rick and I will meet you out in Heroes Pass. When we lose, we're gonna finish this together. We might not make it, Slab. First of all. But I want you to know, <laughs> it's been a hell of a lot of fun.
was denied. What? I said and open! Not and close a secondary set of doors! Dispatching additional troops. No! Don't dispatch more troops! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, pretty female voice! door defenses. Turrets deployed. Yes, Dispatching additional troops. Crap on it, Cracker! More bots incoming! We got warloaders, friendo! Additional troops. How many of these guys are there? Grenade! Enforcements depleted. Don't worry, baby. Happens to a lot of girls. And open! We did it, minion. Jack thought he could stop us with a door? Ha! I was made to open doors. There's no stopping us now, minion. Together, we shall free Pandora. I will lead you into battle! I will destroy Handsome Jack with my bare hands! I will... Stairs? No! Minion, <gasps> you've got to go on without me. Do your master proud. Stairs were my only weakness! 
Next to electrocution and explosions and gunfire, rust, corrosion, being kicked a lot, viruses, being called bad names, falling from great heights, drowning, adult onset diabetes, being looked at funny, heart attacks, exposure to oxygen, being turned down by women, and pet allergens. Your brilliance is matched only by your malevolence. That child killer, hmm? The key's nearly charged. This world is gonna end. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. Catches your eye. Come back anytime.
is he screaming again? Damn it! We can't get through! Mordecai! Hold up! I got this! Engaging auto cannons. Mordecai! 
No, Brick! No! no! Locking onto oh. drop barge. Commencing <gasps> lunar bombardment. Take Whoa. him out! They got a lock on us! Just go, son! Go! go. go. in getting revenge on those who huh. killed you unless you were killed by Hyperion huh. personnel. Hyperion suggests that you rejoice in your temporary death. A victory achieved without suffering is no victory at all. Oh! <laughs> 
I'll use you to blow a midget's head off, or maybe I won't.
your kind have corrupted Pandora with your greed and your hatred. It comes down to me to save this world from your kind. But I'm more than happy to do it. Save your gold during life. Catches your eye. Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter friends I said hey. on time. Key's nearly ready. But before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm gonna avenge my daughter. Take it, bitch! Don't find me, bandit! There's nowhere to hide now, suck him! So good at hell! Yeah, take it, bitch! <laughs> Dying yet. <laughs> You're too late, bandit. I win. 
the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. <laughs> and it's my to control!
make sure, though. Hit the button on the moonshot console. I can't, I like this. Not when I'm so close. And not at the hands of a filthy bandit! See, I could have saved this planet. See, I, I could have actually restored order. And I wasn't supposed to die. Vault Hunter, you are a badass. Now, just gotta get rid of that key. Wait a sec. Let me. You don't want to touch this thing right now, trust me. Slow down, man. I nearly bought it back there. Hey! Lilith! Where the hell were you guys five minutes ago? If it weren't for the Vault Hunter, we'd all be dead. I think... That's her way of saying we won. Hey, I figured that. If I never see this key again, it'll be too soon. It's been fun, you alien piece of shit. What the? Are those vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> no rest for the wicked.
Oh. Huh. My headset was muted. That's weird. I wonder why. It shouldn't have been. Well, whatever. At first I was like, maybe my headset's dead. But I was like, now nah, I hear the game too. So let's try this again. I congratulated you for coming back right as we beat the game. We just took care of the last mission. Now all we have left is the DLC quest. So we're gonna go sell what we have and call it a stream. My eyes are fried. Go take a break. We, we sat in front of this computer way too long today as is. Um, we'll at least go back to Sanctuary. Um... And then, like I said, either next time we'll be starting uh, the pre-sequel, or we'll be going through the DLC for this. I probably should do the DLC. Hey, there's a mission to do. Weird. Okay, so we got... I like how it just sits outside his helmet. Perfect. And I don't think we got a new... I knew anything else otherwise. Yeah, I remember when you beat the game, um, each person got a handsome jack mask that just goes over their regular face. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to work for him. That is really weird that it's just a stick over his, his helmet. But we got to wear that just because I, I love Jack as a character so much. Um... Which is why I've already said, uh... Check back later to see my new... Any plans for the rest of the night? <laughs> 